Hi and welcome to The Bots, a channel dedicated to getting you through not only lockdown but life as well. And today we're going to be looking at some more strategies for you to use as you homeschool your children and try and successfully complete your own work as well. Now something very important that we've touched on in the past that we're going to actually focus on today is allowing your child to creatively and freely explore and investigate their environment to actually unlock the learning process for themselves. So today's message is entitled Discovery. How do you allow your child to relate to information? Are you getting them to clinically sit at a desk or the dining room table and work through copious amounts of items from 8 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon? Are you giving them an opportunity to actually delve in and explore their environment? Now the environment that you're in is going to look very different to my environment. But when I look at environments, it doesn't really matter because you can easily provide investigative opportunities for your children to fully engage with learning. Now, when I'm talking about that, I mean, when your kids are playing in the garden, is the opportunity for them to discover new and interesting facts about the world around them, about the shape of the clouds, the types of birds in the sky, the types of bark on the tree. How about the types of grass that you've got in your garden? The types of flowers? How about things like farming and irrigation? All of those things can easily be discovered in the comfort of your garden. If you're in an apartment building or a flat and you don't have access to a garden and at this point you're not allowed to be walking out in the street, have you maybe got a little table, a little corner on a carpet where you just put a selection of random items and talk about them to your child or get them to ask you questions about it. You could have a leaf, a seed, uh, perhaps items out of the kitchen, whatever it is, have a random assortment of items as they like. What do you think about these things? What would you like to know more about these things? And a simple item like a leaf, for example, can unlock and unfold into a really awesome lesson that is unprepared but exciting for you and your child because you're engaging on that material, with that material, together. You're doing it in a relaxed manner. For us, we love going hiking and during the six to nine time period that we're allowed to go hiking or cycling, we often enjoy hikes. Where the kids go in front, they're the trailblazers. They know to watch out for snakes and things like that. And they physically go and look for indentations in the rocks. Why does the rock look like that? How was it formed? They start asking questions and we answer to the best of our ability. If there are things we don't know, we say, right, when we get home, we're going to quickly go Google that. And let's be honest, Googling things takes like two or three minutes. And you've just gotten acquainted with brand new and exciting ideas. And it doesn't take a lot of time and it's really a low pressure situation. When I look at my home specifically, am I allowing my children to engage with new things in the home or old things in the home in such a way that they are continually learning more? You'd be surprised how much your children learn just by chatting to you. So instead of putting them just in front of a computer program or with a book or in front of the TV, why don't you just chat? Chat about something that they've seen or heard. And as I said in my first video when I spoke about attitude, it's important that you do these things in a positive light. So let's try and stay away from the very negative and try and educate our kids in a fun, friendly, relaxed environment where they get to ask the questions and direct the learning. So it's not always the teacher or the mom or dad directing the learning. 
kids themselves feel empowered because they're directing the process. I encourage you to either have a table with objects that you change every now and then, or to allow your child, even when you're tidying the house, to accompany you and ask you questions. Mom, how do you think pegs are made as you hang in the wash? Mom, how does a washing machine work? Mom, and they slowly ask questions. And anything you don't know, you look it up and you engage with them. Now, as a teacher, some of my most successful lessons in the classroom have been on the carpet, where learners get to sit, they have lots of information in front of them, they get to engage with the material, and they come to me with questions that they have. This that I'm speaking to you about today is a little step towards project-based learning where we, we get given a, a simple topic and we need to go and explore it for ourselves. Your homes, your gardens, your local parks, even a place like your kitchen is a fantastic house for education because those are the areas where we really connect, we feel most relaxed and we're able to teach our children more than just what's on the paper. That's all for me for today for homeschooling during lockdown. I hope you are really finding this valuable and that it's adding enormous you know, material and fabric to what you're trying to do with your children. And remember to like, to share, to subscribe, to click on the bell icon for more notifications and to comment if there's anything else you'd like us to chat about. Remember, stay focused, stay positive. You can do this. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.